Personal training has a whole new meaning when you're working out with elephants. Her morning yoga. <laughs> Especially this one. Head down. Rosie is pregnant and needs to be in tip-top shape right. for her big day. Good girl. Bigger, Rose, and this time, Rosie will be training her daughter, Jasmine, how to be a mom. Uh, Jasmine is at the perfect age to learn how to be a mama elephant. Uh, she's got to learn her trait. Asian elephants have been slowly disappearing, so each pregnancy is a cause for celebration. Endangered for more than 30 years, their numbers are down 50% in the last three generations alone. <laughs> Breeding the elephants at zoos like the Albuquerque Biopark has become one of the best options to help grow the population worldwide. We want bulls and babies. We want to see moms teaching uh, babies how to have babies and how to manage a herd. So it's a phenomenal big picture goal. I just can't imagine a world without elephants. I just can't imagine it. What do you think? Elephant manager Rhonda Sayers has worked with this herd for more than 20 years. Good morning, Grandma. This, of course, is Grandma Alice. She's 45 years old. And we've got baby Jasmine rocking it at four years old and our pregnant mama, Rosie, on the end there at 25 years old. Both Jasmine and Rosie were born here at the biopark. Irene is a, a unique member of our herd. She's the only unrelated member of the herd. And at 50, she is a sassy, amazing elephant. Irene is kind of like a favorite aunt, but she has her limits. <laughs> I think Auntie Irene just told baby Jasmine no. <laughs> Samson is 19 years old. This is Jasmine's dad, and he is also the father of the calf that's coming. He's gonna be a daddy again. <laughs> Rhonda has the most special relationship with Rosie. I started when Rosie was three years old, and she's kind of been my focus animal for all these years. Rhonda was there when Rosie gave birth to Jasmine in 2013. She did exactly what she was supposed to do. She stepped over the baby, gave it a good sniff, used her feet to push and kick to wake the baby up and get, the, get good deep breaths, the slap on the bottom, so to speak. Um, she did a brilliant job of that. With Jasmine approaching breeding age herself, Rosie will need to show her daughter the ropes. In the wild, you're gonna see grandma, mom, aunties, big sisters all around when those babies are born to teach the next generation. So in this birth, I'm gonna give her the reins. And hopefully, if everything proceeds as normal coming into labor delivery, she will be in there teaching Jasmine how to be a mom right off the bat. As the offspring of two wild-born parents, Rosie's genetics are very valuable to pass on, making this birth even more precious and important. We were asked by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums close to 15 years ago to really look at how we care for elephants and to create breeding programs and to assure that genetic variability and provide the best possible welfare we can for these animals. And I think that's a huge challenge. And a long-term commitment for this team. We started off with one tiny yard, one barn. We're up to five and a half acres, this giant rotation system, three buildings. 